Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 76 in chapter 9. In this chapter, we will talk about leader momentum, and there we will rework an example 9.18, the rocket, right? First thing we find the rocket, just shooting the rocket, and then at the some point, at the peak, it breaks. One part fall down, just do the free fall body. The another one just moves part to head somewhere there. And we know the center of mass is there. It's just a distance d with this location at the middle because this is mirror symmetry. This is the project problem we worked on previous chapters. The first one is we need to find where it land. So where it land, that means we need to find the location x2. Agree? Yes. And uh, so there we can consider this point as a reference point. Zero. Do you agree? So we find the first part is the location for x1, zero. Location for the part two, we don't know. And the center of mass is d. When this uh, rocket breaks, the center of mass will not change because no external force act on it on x horizontal. Right, so that means the center of mass is given d, and then the x one is zero. We need to find x two. So we solve this equation. We can find x two is four over three d. So remember, there we choose this part as the reference point. So if we want to see how far away the x two is the initial point, so we need to add another d. So it becomes seven over three d. Thank you. Then we consider the signal one B. So the B since get changed, the mass ratio get changed, right? Still same thing. We find the center of mass location is D, X1 is zero, X2 we don't know yet. So we consider the center of mass equation and we solve the X2 equals 4D. And so this 4D is at the reference point at zero. So it is 5D from the start point. Thank you.